he inside? Yes, sir. We have a meeting scheduled. He's expecting you. Mr. President, we need to brief you on Dictator Raphael. <laughs> Things are starting to get serious. No problem. Why don't you join us for some tea? Sorry, boys. I promised my daughter we could have a tea party. I'm all about multitasking. Have a seat. You think there's enough tea for Daddy's friends? Of course. But only if they wear the magic hats. Mm -hmm. You will need to wear one of these. <laughs> Mr. President. Really? You heard the lady? Okay. <laughs> Dictator Raphael is posing quite a problem. What kind of tea would you like? We'll have whatever the president's having. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Mr. President, Dictator Raphael is moving artillery toward the board. Do you like my tea? <clears throat> yes, that's good tea. tea. <laughs> so, tell me about Raphael. Sir, we are concerned that he's planning to attack our allies. They are a much smaller country. They won't be able to stand up to him. He sounds like a bully to me. If he's being bad, Daddy, you need to give him a timeout. Olivia's right. Let's give him a timeout. How about we take him out? Mm. You give a nod, it's done. He'll be gone before we get to dessert. <laughs> <laughs> no. Invite him to the White House for dinner instead. That will be his timeout. You're gonna have dinner with a bully? Yes, sweetheart. But let me explain. <laughs> Daddy's gonna tell him why being a bully is a really bad thing. Okay. But it sounds like I'm going to need a whole lot more tea. Uh. Thank you. Mr. President, here are the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies you requested. So if you continue to eat like this, you'll end up being the president and the vice president. Don't worry, Bernard. Been working out every day. Oh, mm. ah, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, first lady won't like it when she finds out. When I find out what? Well, I can't start eating chocolate chip cookies. I knew that after our second date. Mm -hmm. I thought that you and I might have a private dinner this Saturday. Just the two of us. No kids, no dignitaries, no friends. No fun. No butler. No kidding. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. It's a date. It's a date. Mm. My <laughs> Mr. President, would you like me to put Saturday with the wife on your calendar? Yes, Bernard, let's make it official. Saturday is our 20th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. She obviously thinks I forgot. Ah, yes, that can get you into trouble. Would you like me to arrange something special for Saturday evening? <sighs> I'm not sure yet. Let me think about it for a bit. What are you doing? Letting you think about it for a bit. I'm good. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Dad, this place is crazy huge. I mean, we went from living in a shoebox to one of the biggest mansions in the world. I still can't find my way around here. Don't worry about it, son. You'll get used to it. Use a GPS if you need to. <laughs> This place is like a prison. What prisons have butlers? <laughs> Tell us, what is it that you want to do that you can't because he's the big kahuna? I guess we want to do something or anything without you or anyone else knowing about it. Yeah, we want to keep secrets from our parents like every other kid in America does. You can keep a secret from me if you want. They're not secrets, Dad, if Secret Service keeps telling you what they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do what you gotta do, and don't tell us. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thanks, Thanks, dude. dude. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Don't worry about it. I will always know what's going on. He hit me, he hit me, and it hurt! Did you know that was going on? <laughs> Cupcake, 
You two have to solve your own problems without me constantly being the referee. Understand? I understand. I have to solve my own problems. That's right. Good job. Play nice. You handled that really well. Nicely done. Thanks. Ow! She hit me, and she said you, Turner, is okay. I solved the problem myself, just like you said I should. Okay. So what have we learned here? You hit her, and it hurt. You hit him back, and it hurt too. Now you're both in pain, you're both sad, and you've accomplished nothing, right? Right. And most importantly, remember, your mother and I can ground both of you for the rest of your lives if we want to, right? <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> And you know Pauletta is better. Auntie Pauletta! Auntie Pauletta! Daddy's gonna ground us for life. Oh, no. He wouldn't do that because then he'd have me to deal with. And president or no president, trust me, he wouldn't want to go down. <laughs> he might have the largest army in the world, but I got a mean left hook. <laughs> you don't want none of this. And I'm mad at you. You still haven't called me yet. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let Auntie Paul let her read your bedtime story. Love you, sis. Love you, too. What about me? What about you? <laughs> so what are your plans for today, sis? I was thinking about redecorating the White House. Yes, because your taste is exquisite. <laughs> Thank you, Bernard. <laughs> kind of drabby around here, don't you think? I don't. And if we want to redecorate, Catherine and I will do that. Your job is to help look after the kids. If you ever figure out how to get around to that. <laughs> don't think I'm impressed just because you're the president. Huh. To me, you'll always just be that ingrate that stole my baby sister. You know she hasn't been home for Christmas since the first day she met your trifling, bull, bro, corny. <laughs> He's the president of the United States. So what? I didn't vote for him. Um, you didn't vote for who? You heard me. Your son. You didn't vote for my son? That's because the last person you voted for was Abe Lincoln. You don't start. That had voted for you. Listen here, my son is so great. We need to change the laws and make him king. Yes, king. Get that for your thing. They should proclaim you king for life, your majesty. <laughs> Up with her head. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. It's all right, baby. We were just in the neighborhood. We thought we'd stop by and see you, Catherine, and the kids. <laughs> you want to go bowling? You know, uh, do a little fishing. Bowling? Fishing? You did notice that he's got a job, right? I notice every time I see you, you're getting uglier. <laughs> Stop, please. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna dress up just like you on Halloween. Boom! How much cologne is that you wear? Formaldehyde? I'll have you to know this cologne cost me five dollars a gallon. It smells like it, too. Just meet me out on the South Lord. We can take it out there right now. I wish I had a pie. I would smash it in your face right yeah, now. Yeah, go ahead, try it. I'll show you better not to take it. What do you like? What? What do you like? Cherry? Blueberry? Lemon meringue? Are you anybody scared of you? Everybody needs to calm down. We're all family here. We should all get along. Mom is right. We can have our differences, but we need to learn to love and respect each other. Oh, give it a rest. Save all that mumbo jumbo for the State of the Union. <laughs> this is crazy. We've been married for 20 years. When are the two of you going to stop arguing? At her funeral. <laughs> what are you doing in two weeks? <laughs> Mr. President, how was the foreign affairs speech I wrote for you? Oh, still haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I still have to do that as well as come up with something for my 20th wedding anniversary. Ah, let me know if there's anything I can do to help, Mr. President. Will do. Thank you, John. Dad, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's up? There's this kid at school causing trouble and I'm not sure what to do about it. What kind of trouble? He's constantly beating up on the little kids. Sounds like another bully problem. Don't worry, it's going around. <laughs> so what do you want to do about it? I want to punch him out, like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, all 
Okay, calm down, Bruce Lee. What am I supposed to do, just turn the other cheek? No, no, I've never been a fan of that solution. If we just watch and do nothing, eventually the bully might gain so much power, you won't be able to do anything. So I should just knock him out then. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, son, no, listen to me. Violence is always a last resort. Why don't you try talking to him? You do that right, it'll be 10 times more effective. Or you can just point out the heavily armed Secret Service agents who are following you. Bernard. Or tell him if he's not careful, you'll have his parents audited by the IRS. Now that'll do the trick. Bernard. I know, get out. I get it, Dad. You don't have to use your power, just remind him that it's there. Exactly! <laughs> hey. Is that? Dad! Okay, kids, remember, we need you to be on your best behavior tonight. We're always on our best behavior. Mr. President, Supreme Leader Presidente Rafael. Very nice to meet you, sir. I'm sorry I'm late, but three people outside asked me to park their car. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you should be. You know, parking is very tight around here. I had to really squeeze them in, but luckily, I have skills. <laughs> Mr. Raphael, this is my lovely wife, Catherine, and my family. Ay, Dios mío. It's a custom in my country. Wow. Daddy, this is my favorite clown. Oh, yes. Do you know Elmo? Oh, Elmo. Elmo. Short guy, big eyes. I don't know him. Honey, he's the president of his own country. There's a country of clowns? I want to move there. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you for this wonderful meal. But please, can we talk about why I am here? To park cars? <laughs> no. My military intelligence tells me that you think that I'm a bully. I am not a bully just because I want to attack my neighboring country. I see. Olivia, why is it a bad idea to attack someone? Because if you hit us, it will hurt, and if we hit you back, it will also hurt. Then we'll both be sad and in pain, and we'll have accomplished nothing. Hmm, very well said. But you don't understand. It's so boring now that there's nothing to do. I already have an army waiting, and... Why does the United States care? Why do you have to get involved in our own little war? Charles, would you like to answer that one? Well, because you're a bully, and that's a bad thing. And if we just stand by and watch, pretty soon you'll be bullying everyone. The bottom line is, no one has the right to tell anyone how they must live. Not even you. But what can you do to stop me? <laughs> I'm El Supremo. Yeah. Generals, would you like to answer that one? Certainly. We've been begging our president to let us blow you up. No, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. I had an Stephanie. I'm going to call my military back to my borders. We're going to mind our own business. There's no need for violence. Why don't we all just get along in peace and harmony like, like somebody said we should do? That is great to hear. Yeah, yes, it is. To make it official, let's have a toast. To living in peace and harmony. With good parking. It yes. Now we need to spend more time like this alone. Really? Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? You might want to think back to the time that we tied the knot. You know, that's kind of an important date in our history, don't you think? Oh, no. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't know what to say. If you were talking to Congress, you would babble on and on, but with me, you don't know what to say? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Big Shot President. The state of this union is on thin ice right now, bucko. Oh, my. You haven't called me bucko since I accidentally broke your favorite vase. Boss, vase. Boss. Not good. You got that right. <laughs> Let me make it up to you, sweetheart. Could you open that drawer, please? Open the drawer? What does opening the drawer have to do with you making it up to me? If you could, please. If I, I... could? Well, then you know I can. I'm standing right by it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't forget. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, 
this is beautiful. How could I forget the best day of my life? <laughs> this is us on our first date. Huh? <laughs> oh, how romantic is this? Baby, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, you are the love of my life. And I am who I am today because of you. We were meant for each other, and I will cherish our love with all of my heart forever. Thank you for the beautiful blessings of our children and the wonderful life that we are creating together. I absolutely adore you, Catherine, and will for all eternity. Your loving husband, William. <laughs> oh, baby, this is the most beautiful thing you've ever written to me. I'm going to go to our bedroom. I want you to meet me there in five minutes. You had a surprise for me? And I've got one for you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I uh, left my watch in the family room. Could you grab it on your way, please? And don't keep me waiting, Mr. President. So how'd I do? Did she like the card I wrote? She loved it. Yes. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome, Bucko. I mean, Mr. President. I wanted to have an anniversary party, and I thought it would be fun to surprise you. Yeah. Surprise! Thank you. Oh, my God, your mother's here. <laughs> Edie! I can't believe you came all the way from Detroit to celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary. I am so touched. Don't get it twisted, baby. I did not come from Detroit to celebrate your anniversary. I came for the free food. Now, where is it? <laughs> Celery? Carrot? Do I look like a rabbit? <laughs> Lovely. Besides, 20 years is no big deal. I was married to my husband over 60 years. Amen. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Right. 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 And child, he rocked my world to the very end. Oh. That's even after he had two hip replacements. Oh. As a matter of fact, he was even better after he got new hips. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's too much information. What you talking about? I'm talking about dancing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if Moses had seen how ugly you are, we would have 11 commandments. <laughs> have a warm and fuzzy evening at the White House. Mr. President, I want to thank you for 20 amazing years. You are the love of my life. And this card you gave me was so touching. It was nice, huh? Mm-hmm. But the next time you do that, I'm going to have to marry John, your speechwriter. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, Boston. Yeah, bucko. <laughs> Everything is better with bacon. <laughs> Including bacon. Keep it up. Pretty soon the vice president is going to be here measuring for drapes. Hey, Mom. Dad, I need you to sign my report card. Five C's. Which is completely average. You seem very proud of that. 
Yeah, and we're not sure why. Dad, aren't you always saying in your speeches that we're the average American family? When did you start listening to my speeches? Actually, in your State of the Union address, you told the country not to have unrealistic expectations. I was talking about the economy. You see, it works on so many levels. Here's something realistic. Get your grades up and no video games. I'll do my best. Well, that's all we can ask. Now remember, Charles, everyone in this family should set high goals. I'm gonna be on Wasson with the stars! <laughs> Pauletta, what are you talking about? Well, they haven't picked me yet. That's why I'm going to make me an audition tape and send it in. Wait till they get a load of my moves. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it needs a little work. It needs a lot of work. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> Go, sweetheart. Thank you. Mr. President, I got an advance copy. Copy of what? My report card. The approval ratings come out tomorrow. Oh. How is it? Mr. President, I know how much you love sweets, so I brought you a little something to help you feel better. Little? Is it that bad? No, sir. It's this bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. But I'm the only one who's seen this. I see everything. I've been here for over 40 years. You're all just temps. How bad is it, Rebecca? There are some almost decent numbers in there. Foreign policy, 61%. <laughs> National security, 57%. <laughs> Economy, 48%. <laughs> Would like to go to a ball game with 15%. That's only 1.5 out of 10 Americans. I wouldn't take it too bad, sir. Every president I've ever worked for got depressed over their numbers. Really? I remember after one poll, President Nixon was crying like a little baby. Perhaps I shouldn't feel too bad. Of course, he did resign the next day. I think we've heard enough for today. <laughs> you know, no one pays attention to polls. They're meaningless. The First Lady got a 95% likability. Oh, the people have spoken. <laughs> and it's meaningless. <laughs> Why not? Exactly. Hey. Oh. Wow, you guys did fantastic on your report cards. I know I did. I'm not sure about him. Lucas is on fire. Are you? It's just an expression, honey. A in math, A in science, and your teacher says you're very friendly. Yeah, I'm the only one who talks to the pet turtle. Does he answer you back? <laughs> yeah, he's really funny, especially when he's dissing the goldfish. Let's keep an eye on him. Olivia. You did really well in sharing and in health. I stopped a girl from eating a crayon. Well, for you, honey. Those things are full of carbs. Like hey, Chloe. Now, we haven't seen your report card yet. All A's again. <laughs> oh, well, they decide not to send out report cards this semester. Why not? Because they feel that it's the learning that matters and grades aren't important. Exactly. Um. See, sometimes grades don't matter. Say, for example, if people don't want to join you at a ball game. <laughs> if I wasn't me, I would want to be with me at a ball game. <laughs> I'm not making any sense, am I? I understand you, Daddy. Sometimes I like to be with me and talk to myself in a funny voice. I will keep an eye on him. <laughs> Honey, you need to get over this poll thing. Did you guys know that 97% of the country loves my hair? <laughs> and what's up with the other 3%, honey? Ah, uh, hi, Bernard. This, this just looked like my report card. Actually, it is. The thing is, I was having a little trouble with it. It's really complicated. Okay, the truth is, here's what happened. Teachers... I just don't care. Oh, come on, come on, put 
some hips into it. I don't recall hips in the tango, madam. There's hips in everything Ow. if you're doing it right. Oh, oh, please stop complaining. Now my audition tape has got to pop. Now come on, come on, shake it like you got it. Madam, I believe you have enough to shake for the both of us. Oh! Now, Bruno, if you're not going to keep up with me now, I don't see how this is going to work. It's not, madam. Good day. Oh! It's like dancing with a ironing board. Except nothing's getting hot. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Did they stop making girdles and sass extra jiggly? You know, I'm just too upset to even think of a way to call you old and ugly. I just missed my chance to get out of this dump. You say what? I can't make my tape because nobody around here can dance. Oh, I'll never make it to Hollywood. I belong there. <laughs> Let me get this straight. If you get that show, you're going to be leaving. Yeah. Like six months or maybe more. Well, pack your bag. Look. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's not bad, but I don't know. Oh, don't that's know. more where that came from. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this dance I created. It's everything on tippy toe. Look at it. Ain't that beautiful? Look at it. Ain't that beautiful? Ooh, yeah. Everything on tippy toe. Oh, it's a good God. Oh. <laughs> Hollywood, huh? <laughs> Ow! Oh, man down. Man down. No, it's all right. My pain will be gone, and so will the one in my foot. Come on. I've got a great idea to bring your numbers up. I'm listening. Okay, these are your friends. <laughs> no, they're not. Your friends are Supreme Court justices and senators, sir. They're not going to read regular in a photo shoot. A photo shoot? This is Jim. He's your fishing buddy. <laughs> this is Bobby. You two love NASCAR. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. You all have to go. And I thought we were friends. All right. Forget all that. Our best bet now is to bury the story on this weekend's news cycle. Bury it? Yeah. No one will pay attention. There's a big game this Sunday. There's a big game and no one invited me? Well, I better get going. I want to pick a little something up for my daughter. I'll A's on her report card. How did Chloe do? Chloe? Oh, right, Chloe. They're in the same class. And they both definitely got their report cards. And I've seen it. All A's. Because I've seen it. I don't get the appeal of this guy. He can't even sing. Well, that's probably because you're not a 13-year-old girl. But he's got great hair. <laughs> okay, give me a signal if you hear Chloe coming. Yes, Mr. President. Sorry, did you find it yet? I just started. Why do you guys look so nervous? Surely this can't be the most dangerous post you've been on. Ma'am, I once dismantled a bomb with my bare hands, underwater with sharks all around. And being in the bedroom of a teenage girl, without her permission, is far more dangerous. It's just that this, if I must say, is, a, uh, it's icky. Man up. We are on a mission here. Look at this. It's a little rubber band that turns into a guitar. It's cool, huh? Anyway. If I was a report card, where would I be? Got it. <clears throat> Baby bird is in the nest. Baby bird is in the nest. Mom? Chloe? Daddy? Chloe. We'll be outside, Mr. President. Artisan, leave the magazine. <laughs>
that was uh, that was great, Auntie Pauletta, and Grandpa loved the hopping step. That was when your Auntie Pauletta jabbed the knee into my business arena. <laughs> Judges, what you got? You better be happy with this, too. They wouldn't let me give you a zero. Mom, Mom, what's your score? Hold on, baby. I'm trying to score right now. <laughs> yes, sir. That's right. A single room with a king-size bed. Thank you. Mom, you weren't paying attention. Baby, I don't have time for that foolishness. I'm trying to book my still sexy and you know it cruise. <laughs> this is important to me. Now we turn it out, right? Oh, honey, it was so sad. <laughs> you two look like you had indigestion. A bad case of indigestion. <laughs> you know, if this were Catherine, you'd be saying, oh, that is great, that's great. But me, no, you favor her. Look, baby, your sister married the president of the United States. More importantly, they paying for my trip. <laughs> but I still appreciate you. You always let me know when my support hoes go on sale. Well, y'all are all just jealous of me, because all y'all do is sit here and flap your gums. And you, you wouldn't know good dancing if it hit you in the face. Is that what you think? Hold on a minute. Hit it, honey. Come on, baby. Follow me. Ah! <laughs> Anybody can do those cinchy steps. Uh, hater. Judges, what's your score? I don't understand. This is good. I got a B in history. Yeah, but the rest are all A's. That's not good enough. Sweetheart, you do not have to be perfect. But I'm the first daughter who will be in the history books forever. Dad, you don't understand that kind of pressure. I don't understand anything about pressure. I mean, look at all these great first daughters. Caroline and Amy and Chelsea and Dolly Madison. Dolly Madison was the president's wife, not his daughter. Are you sure? I guess we know why you got that B in history. Are you disappointed in me? I'm not disappointed about the report card, but Chloe, why did you lie? We don't lie in this family. Well, I said they didn't send them out. They handed them out. It's not a lie. It's called a spin. Oh, no, a future politician. Chloe, if you have a problem, you don't hide from it. You face it. Unless it's a bear, then you want to run. I'm just trying to be clear. Sweetheart, just do the best that you can, and then let it go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Chloe, I hear there's a big game on Sunday. Would you like to go with me? No, thanks. I'm good. Well, 15% of the country would like to go to the game with me. Now, you got all my dances in there, right? Yes, yes, Auntie Pauletta. They're going to love my tribute to Bollywood. That was a gutsy move showing your tummy. Had to come on strong. Had to let those judges know I ain't playing. <laughs> I damn to forget my belly dance. Chan, they won't. <laughs> the more Paul letter, the better. Waltzing with the stars. And it's set. Oh! oh, you just wait till they see it. Oh, then I'll be famous like I was meant to be. Yeah, I won't be standing in anybody's shadows like I do around here. Like your father, always talking about, I'm the president of the United States. Yeah, 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 good for you. <laughs> yeah, but can you grow curves like this, Mr. President? Can you? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> they call it already. <laughs> they don't go when they see it. <laughs> Hello, this is Pauletta. <gasps> it's a show. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. So when you want me out there? <laughs> huh? Um, oh, uh, 
Well, not even as a standby in case everybody on the show break their leg. <laughs> I'm the prisoner assistant now. Uh, Auntie Pletta, I'm sorry. Auntie Pletta, was... you sent in your dancing tape already? Yeah. It's gonna be lonely here without you. Yeah. Who's gonna make sure my shoes aren't on the wrong feet? Who's gonna make sure I stop laughing when he trips? Hey, hey guys, Auntie Pauletta. Has decided to turn down the show. Oh, they begged and they begged. They saw my gift. <laughs> but you two are so important to me, I thought that if I went, I'd be thinking of you so much that I'd forget my dance steps and get voted off, just like that. <laughs> Yay! But I thought that- Shut up, Mr. C student. <laughs> He shoots, he scores, and everyone likes being at the game with him. Aw, oh, honey. Are you still down about your poll numbers? I don't care about that. I mean, so what if people don't want to go to the game with me? Maybe I don't want to go to the game with them. I just wanted to do better. Didn't we just have this talk with Chloe? And didn't you tell her that you were proud of her as long as she did her best? When I'm the president, I have to do better. <laughs> My love, you and Chloe are just alike. You have to be perfect all the time. But no one can. I guess you're right. I give you an A for being a great dad. Hmm. And I give you an A plus for being a fabulous husband. Hmm. And for picking me. Me, who the people love. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the people are smart. Yes, and so are you. One of the dresses is gonna be python skin trimmed with peacock feathers. Baby, sounds like those two things will be fighting each other. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going for. What's that supposed to be for again? Oh, that's for my audition dress for the new show, Project Fashion Star. Bernard! I did my best with the fitting, ma'am. There's only so much I can do. I'm sure you made it work. Now, where's my model? Baby, if she wins, she's gonna spend a whole year in Paris. This is worth it. To get rid of her, I'll wear this dress the rest of my life. Personally, I think you look fierce. Thank you. Pauletta, William and I will be counting on you to step it up with the kids. My schedule is wide open. Don't I always step up? Who you think you're talking to? The hell? Oh, no offense. Ma'am, I'd have to care to be offended. <laughs> I can help out with the kids. Hello? Hello? Does anybody hear me? Well, I have the energy summit this week, so that's where my focus will be. Yeah, right. Sounds like poker night to me. I don't even believe I'm in this room. And I'm going to be interviewed for Modern Mother magazine. They want to know all about my life as the first lady and my favorite cookie recipe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's with the uh oh? What's wrong with my cookies? Well, how can I put this delicately? Your cookies suck. They dry, they smell bad, they're ugly. Just like your face. <laughs> Honey, you have so many gifts. I mean, maybe I can call my mom and have her come over and help you. Thank you, but I don't need your mother's help. I'm gonna start on my world famous snickerdoodles right now. Olivia, come help mommy. Help me! I got it, I got it. I'm stepping up. Okay, come on, babies. This is gonna be us today. Okay, now, what do you wanna do today? Do you wanna go to the zoo? Now you can see where she was born. I'm gonna see dinosaurs. Oh, baby. Other than your grandpa Alvin, there are no dinosaurs. No dinosaurs? Why? Because they had to go away. Why? Because it was their time to go. Why? You only get three wives a day, and don't say why. 
Why not? Okay, okay. It'll just be the three of us, okay. <laughs> Together, and I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute, wait. Hold on, baby. One minute, one minute. Hello? Hey, Keisha girl. Yeah. Uh-uh, what's shaking up at the post office, huh? Uh-uh, no, girl, I got all the time in the world. What? What? Say, say what now? Are, are you serious? Uh-uh, I know they didn't. I know. Tell me they lied. Tell me. No, uh-uh, you better tell me. Please. Uh, please. Sir, she's certainly stepping up. I can't believe this. The kids play tic-tac-toe on my treaty. Hold that up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, Keisha girl, I'm gonna call you back. Why? 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 I believe you're over your why limit now. My girl Keisha told me that the government, that's you, is closing down all the post offices. Well, we're not closing down all of them, but we are making some cuts. Look ahead. Before I came to work in this dump, I worked 20 years down at the post office. <laughs> at the Motown branch, by the way. <laughs> and now I hear you closing it? Pauletta, please, listen. We have to balance the budget. Unfortunately, that can be painful. Yeah, well, you're going to feel some pain if you close down my branch. Look, all my friends work there. We worked our butts off. We took pride in our work. Don't worry. We're careful with all of our packages. Yeah. If you wanted it to get there tomorrow, then you should have thought about that two days ago. We not Santa. <laughs> Next. Pauletta. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Store on the corner, huge sale. What? Did you get me a pair? I hear you a pair. Got you. I'm on break. <laughs> we work hard for the community. You can't just close it. It's not totally my call. Oh, huh? well, I thought you were the top dog, the big cheese. Exactly what are you the president of? The Rotary Club? Okay, I'll look into it. Thank you, Mr. President. So when are you gonna start looking into it? Believe it or not, I actually have some important matters to attend to, like leading the free world. Oh, I see. You got your job, got your benefits. But all my brothers and sisters down at the Motown brand, they don't even know if they're gonna have a job tomorrow. And unlike you, they doing something important. Okay, Paula. I will look into this immediately. Thank you, thank you very much. Please tell the Prime Minister that I'm ready. <laughs> Could you place him on hold and get me the Postmaster General? All right, everybody, here's my new and improved snickerdoodles. Turns out you didn't need vinegar. Chloe? <laughs> oh, no thanks, Mommy. I'll save it for later, and I'll remember that they're there. Vanar. No, thank you. I, I'm on a fast, and I'm moving fast away from your cookies. Since when do people turn out cookies? Charles, take one. Okay. So? <clears throat> Maybe you do need vinegar. Hi, baby. William told me you were baking. I rushed right over. Am I too late? Oh, yeah, I'm too late. I can't believe William sent you over. I got this. I don't need anyone's help for a cookie recipe. Like, I don't know what I'm do... I mean, <laughs> thank you for your offer, Carolyn. <laughs> but uh, I can handle this. <laughs> If you say so. Mm, mm, mm. Something smells good. Thank you, baby. I'm talking about those cookies. You smell good, too. Yeah. Is that cinnamon? Yes, it is. Look at my lovely daughter-in-law showing off in the kitchen. I need to try one of these succulent morsels. Ooh, my Like nasty feet. <laughs> this is a this is a lethal weapon. <laughs> Secret Service. Secret Service.
Go see the four you pull letter. It is copy. I know about Catherine's cookies. We used to have a little brother. <laughs> Look at this mess. Are these your breakfast plates? I know these are my chores, but I... No, gonna... nothing. I got news for you. One day you're going to have to cook and clean for yourself. Preach. You have to wash your own dirty drawers. True. Don't think you're going to have a butler? You better listen. Or a beautiful, sexy aunt to take care of you. <laughs> Weapon on? I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> Look, it's my favorite brother-in-law. I'm your only brother-in-law. Who's counting? <laughs> Look at you working and whatnot. Uh, I got you a little something-something. What's this for? Just because. Great U.S. presidents. You're gonna be in there one day. Thank you. <laughs> this is... This is... This is a library book. You got 10 days to return it. What's the occasion? For keeping my branch open. Oh, yes, about that. Yeah. I looked into it. Yeah. And unfortunately... You're never going to be in this book. Your branch is one of many that has to be closed down. In fact, it was at the top of the list. Not me. Everybody loved us. <laughs> I need to speak with your supervisor. She's on break. I need to speak with her supervisor. He's on break. I need to speak with his supervisor. Speaking. I have a complaint. Now, I'm on break. I'm sorry, Pamela, but I can't show any favoritism. Yes, you can. That's what relatives do. Come on, I won't tell nobody. Come on, brother-in-law. Can you help us? We're stuck. We can't find the key to the handcuffs from Lucas's magic set. Now we have to go to the bathroom. Please hurry. Pauletta, can you take care of this? Nope. I'm on strike. <laughs> Come on. I haven't won in 20 years. <laughs> Y'all cheat. Uh-uh. We only cheated for 10. <laughs> if we realized, we didn't need to do that either. <laughs> Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded and rich. Hey. <laughs> Inside voices. And let me introduce you to a coaster. You want to play a hand, Bernie? It's Bernard. And I don't want to take your money since you'll all be unemployed soon. Ah, oh, Auntie Pauletta, you forgot to wake us up like you usually do. We're gonna be late for school. Auntie Pauletta, I dress myself. Do you like it? And I brush my teeth with chocolate. Uh, well, good for you, because <laughs> you are all on your own. I'm on strike. I'm not working, I'm not helping out, I'm not lifting a finger. It's like you never left the post office. <laughs> Kids, I want you to meet my old co-workers from the, the post office. They came here from Detroit to support me. We took a few sick days. <clears throat> call, call. <laughs> meet Supervisor Susan, Supervisor Keisha, and Supervisor Gary. Wow, you're all supervisors? Mm -hmm. At the post office, honey. Okay, well, I'm gonna load the dishes. Mm, load them, unload them, I don't care. Are you serious? Yeah, do whatever you want. I am on strike. Yes. <laughs> oh, Mr. President. Oh. Hello. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Sure. Hey, hey, take this. Burn all right. Take that. Okay, hey. All right. This gloves come in handy. Keisha, what you doing? That's the enemy. He trying to shut us down. Sit down. Ooh, that's right. Oof. Really? Hold on. I don't want to close any branch, but I... <laughs> Seriously, folks, this isn't my fault. What's going on here? Your son, he's trying to close down my branch. I'm on strike. What, you a postal worker? Mm -hmm. Well, how would anybody know you're on strike? <laughs> like dead people are not waking up. Pauletta is also on strike as our nanny. Well, good riddance. <laughs> I told you we don't need her, son. Grandpa Elvin to take care of the kids. Ah, 
I'd love to see that. Well, Dad, I mean, not that we... Oh, wait a minute. You don't think I know what I'm doing. I raised the President of the United States, didn't I? The mystery we're all still trying to unravel. Thank you. Kids, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Of course, we'd have had more fun if your parents let us go to the racetrack. You know anything about the exacta? Trifecta? Oh, that's how you learn math. What do you want to play? Do you know any games? Of course I do. Have you ever played the game Watch Grandpa Get a Haircut? It doesn't sound like fun. Oh, yes, it is. Just don't read the magazines in there. After that, we're going to go play Pick Up Grandpapa's Prescription. We have to. It would be better if we don't. We'll play Watch Grandpapa's Blood Pressure Go Up. And that game is not fun. Hold on, Blanket. Hey, Smitty, player. What's up? Huh? What? When? Are you kidding me? I can't. I'm watching my, my grandchildren. It's a sure thing. I'll be right there. <laughs> Kids, change the plan. Got to go see a man about a horse. <laughs> so now, you guys going to play another game. Spend the day with your daddy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. What's the horse's name, Dad? Oh, you cut me deep, son. I think I would diss my responsibility to my own family just for... Bottle Rocket. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone if it wasn't a sure thing. It don't look like you're that busy. I'm running the country. That's about as busy as it gets. But now the country come before you and your own children. Shame on you. I'll watch them, okay? You can go. Where are the kids? I don't know. They're around here somewhere. Check the situation room. I think I saw them playing with a big red button. Where's William? I'm supposed to take care of the kids today. Hi. Wow. Those actually look edible. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. I tweaked my recipe, and the reporter is coming over in a few minutes, so please tell me what you think this batch has to work. OK. Choking. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, William will never forgive me for killing his mother. Oh. Are you okay? My whole life flashed before my eyes. And in this version, I was a famous singer. And three guys were backing me up. And either I was going on a night train or, or, or I was drinking night train. I don't know. But I need to cool me down. <laughs> What am I going to do now? I can't serve these cookies to that reporter. I almost killed my own mother-in-law. Our little secret. <laughs> um, thank you, Bernard. Where are the kids? Where are the kids? You take one ambassador's call, and they're gone. In here. This place is a mess. Dare I say it? We might need Pauletta. Our readers are going to love these cookies. They are so good. No, I shouldn't take all the credit. Oh, don't be so modest. What am I tasting? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> well, I'm tasting chocolate chips. <laughs> OK. What else? Is this toffee or caramel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These cookies remind me of my childhood. They do? These taste exactly like the cookies my mom used to give me as a kid. Oh, she was a good baker. Uh, no, she was horrible. God rest her soul. She bought them in the store. But these taste exactly like them. It's, it's like my dead mothers in my mouth. <laughs> um, I lied. That's not your dead mother in your mouth. Those are store-bought, and, um, I can't bake. So you didn't make these? 
Honey, if you ate my cookies, you'll be up there with your mother right now. What? I can't bake. I can't cook. No. I can't grill. I can't run. No, it's okay. It's okay. No. We don't have to talk about any of that. Okay. We can just sit here and, and eat. Okay. Mama! It's okay. It's okay. I think we can work out a settlement for you and your postal workers. First of all, they don't want to be called postal workers. What do they want to be called? Gods of communication. <laughs> Let's put a pin in that one. I'll tell you what. You write down what you want, and I'll write down what I think is fair. All right, all right. But don't think this is going to be easy, like bringing peace to the Middle East. <laughs> no, Louis Vuitton will not design the new uniforms. You can't be cutting down the brakes. Uh-uh, we use our brakes to enrich our souls, uplift our spirits, and that 15 minutes is just enough to get to that shoe store and back. Rick James will not be on a stamp. You will not be on a stamp. Okay, okay, okay. Now you just insult me. Pauletta, here is the final offer. We will not be closing your branch. However, we may have to limit the weekend service. Oh, damn! <laughs> they don't want to work on weekends anyway. <laughs> it's been nice negotiating with you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, kids, strike's over! Homework better be done, beds better be made, and Auntie Pauletta's gonna be on the stamp. <laughs> No stamp. <laughs> okay, baby, now watch my cuticles. I know what I'm doing. This is a lot of work. You should have thought about that before you stopped doing your chores. But you went on strike. You know what, boy? I'm grown. Now go on. Those floors are not going to clean themselves. Can't Bernard help us? I'm on break. Ha, 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 ha.